Hello everybody, I want to share with you a few water coloring techniques that I do with my kids. We're using some Fabriano watercolor paper. So one way to do this is to dunk it in water or if you don't want to do that you can just use a sponge to wet the paper because we're going to be doing a wet on wet water coloring technique. So we're using Stockmar watercolors. Now they need to be diluted, so I'm going to add some water to this little jar here. But what I didn't realize was that I had already diluted the watercolor watercolors in the original bottle so I'm a little bit confused there when it comes out quite uh, runny and so I end up just putting it in another jar because otherwise it's just going to be way too light so this is a little bit more of the consistency that you normally get when you are getting these watercolors and they do need to be diluted with water you don't do those um, without adding some water to it but then you can do it lighter or darker depending on what shade you want so we're only going to be working with about three different colors we're going to do yellow green and blue because we are going to be making our nature journals and so we're going to watercolor this paper and then we are going to do some other techniques with it and let it dry and then cut it up to make the covers of our nature journals. So here we're using a little bit of salt. This is one of the techniques that I really love to do with the kids and immediately you can see how it reacts with the water and the color and it kind of concentrates the color in some spots and leave it leaves it lighter in other places. So this is more of the traditional uh, Waldorf approach to water coloring that it's a definite wet paper then you're adding one color and just letting it kind of move within the water and then we're adding just another color and these are two primary colors so as they start to mix you can see the secondary color emerge and this is really exciting for little kids to do especially if they've never seen that two colors mixed together make another color it's really thrilling for them and this works out great because we did want a lot of green tones for our nature journals. And so here I'm just, I am actually playing around with it while the kids are doing their own. Uh, I really get into this stuff too. This is as much fun for me as it is for the kids. And if you've never tried this, then I think that you'll really enjoy it too. All right, so here's another technique. This is, we're using some uh, Heidi Swap Shine and Mr. Huey's sprays, and these you can find at craft stores. Now the water, or the paper was already wet with water, and so when you spray the color on, you can see it, it, it immediately moves around on the page, and that was a lot of fun. But that spray bottle that my son is holding actually just has water in it once he got the color down. Then he could kind of manipulate where the color was by using another spray bottle, and that's a lot of good fun. So we're working in our kitchen on the the island which is really great so that you know we can get a little bit messy all right so here's another technique we're going to use some distress inks now these are very concentrated they are a water base color and they're used to re-ink ink pads and I really like working with these colors it's really easy to use it especially if you just want to do a very quick project you can just use the ink pads and and do that instead of pulling out like an actual watercolor set so these got a little bit too concentrated and we made quite a mess so we decided to mop up the mess with a clean sheet of paper and this works really great when you're on a non-porous surface and I really like the way that one turned out and so I'm like oh this is a lot of fun so I decided to spray some water on it just so that we didn't have any white spaces and then we decided to do it again but this time we actually added some more distress ink directly onto the counter however we should have sprayed it first because it ended up not moving around that much and we got actual just yellow spots there so then we just added the water from the spray bottle afterwards and that was fine enough we ended up doing several uh, papers that day a, a lot of art was going on in our kitchen that morning and it was a lot of fun so here's the mess when we're all done it's so important to capture what it looks like when a project's all done because this is the point where suddenly all the kids disappear and uh, they're beautiful art projects and a huge mess is usually left behind but that's okay it didn't take too long to clean up we did move all of those to the back counter so they could dry and then we uh, after a couple days we made these beautiful uh, nature journals which if you'd like to see that video as well as other ones in our nature unit you can click here to see that playlist okay thanks for watching